This video is going to show you how to complete the problem on page 13 out of your math book. So the example says, which team will win the race? You've decided to walk in a long distance race. There are two teams that you can join. Team A walks at a constant rate of two and a half miles per hour. Well, I'm going to write that, I'm going to underline that constant rate. So that means after one hour, they're going to go two and a half miles. Okay. After two hours, they'd be going five total miles. All right, and then team B walks four miles in the first hour, then two miles per hour after that. Oh, great. so that's not going to sound, that's not constant. It's not consistent. So let's see. Um, your task is to create a table for each team showing the distances that would be walked for times of one, two, three, four, five, and six hours. Using your table, answer the questions that follow. Okay, so that team A, I'm going to write them in green. They go two and a half miles per hour. They want us to use the times of one hour, two hour, blah, blah, blah. So one to six hours. So time would one hour, two hour, three hours, four hours, five hours, and six hours. Okay, so they're going two, two and a half miles per hour. So after one hour, they're going to go two and a half miles. And after two hours, they would go five miles. And what I can do, instead of just trying to sit here and trying to figure it out, like I know that, well, if this is two, I double two, I get four. So I have to double five to get 10. That helps. Um, one way, another way I can do this is by figuring out the unit rate. The unit rate is y divided by x, and I see here I have y divided by x, so 2 and 5 tenths divided by 1, oh, it's 2 and 5 tenths. 5 divided by 2, oh, it's 2 and 5 tenths. 10 divided by 4, oh, it's 2 and 5 tenths. So I know that I'm taking all those x values and I'm multiplying them by 2 and 5 tenths. So that's going to help me determine that corresponding y value much easier. So 3 times 2 and a half, what's that? 7 and a half. Um, 5 times 2 and a half is 12 and a half. 6 times, oh, I don't even have to do that. I can go, okay, I doubled 3 to get to 6, so 7 and a half doubled. 7 and a half plus 7 and a half is 15. Okay, so that right there is team 8, and it looks like they've got a, they've got a constant rate right there. Okay, they're, so they're proportional. Now, team B might be a little bit trickier. Um, I know that they're going to go four miles the first hour. I better write that down. Four miles the first hour. And then two miles per hour after that. Okay. So I know the times are one hour, two hours, three, four, five, and six. And after the first hour, the first hour, they're gonna go four miles, okay? But then after that, that first hour, they're gonna go two miles per hour um, after that. So two more miles added onto that would be six, and two more miles added onto that would be eight, two more miles added onto that would be 10, two more miles added onto that would be 12, two more miles added onto that is 14, okay? So let's go ahead and just check out their unit rate. 4 divided by 1, well that's 4, so right here. So I forgot to label my x and my y, oh my goodness. Okay, so 2 divided by 6, y divided by x is times 3. 8 divided by 3, I don't know what that is. Oh, so 2, 6 repeating. 10 divided by 4 is 2 and a half. So, 5 divided by, I mean 12 divided by 5 is 2 and 4 tenths. 14 divided by 6 is 2 and a third. Okay, so you're seeing that this is not consistent. This right here does have a constant rate, so this one does have a constant rate. Okay, so we filled in the tables. Now, for which team is distance proportional to time. Explain your reasoning. Well, team A, because they have a constant proportionality. I'm going to say constant rate because I don't want to write out constant and proportionality. They mean the same thing. And what is the constant rate? Two and a half miles. Okay, remember y divided by x. 
two and a half miles per one hour. B, explain how you know distance for the other team is not proportional to time. So this other team, how come it's not proportional to time? Well, team B, they don't have a constant rate, so it's not proportional, okay? Team B does not have a constant rate or constant proportionality or unit rate, consistent unit rate, so it's not proportional.